Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Vergaro Drive. The Vergaro Drive makes it easy to store, organize, and manage your customer and business files. The Vergaro Drive can store photos, videos, PDFs, text, and other documents. Let's get started. To access Vergaro Drive, we'll click on Settings and then head over to Vergaro Drive under Add-ons. If you've already activated Vergaro Drive to use with Forms, you'll see this dashboard. If not, you'll be prompted to get started with Vergaro Drive. You can add or change a Vergaro Drive storage plan at any time by clicking Change Plan. You'll get this pop-up showing the details of how you're using your file storage. Choose from 5, 10, 50, and 100 gigabyte storage plans to store all your files. See the link below to learn about activating Vergaro Drive. Now that Vergaro Drive is activated, let's talk about adding files to appointments and customer profiles. From the calendar screen, when you book or edit an appointment, you'll see a place to add a file in the Appointment Notes field. You can also quickly upload a file by clicking Upload File from the drop-down menu when clicking on an appointment. You can drag and drop or select files to add to the appointment. You can even select multiple files to upload at once. You'll be prompted with the uploader where you can name your file and give it a description as well as add more files if needed. Once they're added, click Upload, and the files will be added to this appointment as well as your Vergaro Drive. Please know all files uploaded to an appointment or customer profile are internal facing, meaning that they are not shared with your customers upon upload. You can also add files directly to a customer's profile. In the Customer Management screen, find the customer whose profile you would like to add a file to. Once selected, there's a tab called Files. Click there. Here you'll see Appointment Files, which are any files associated with any appointment this customer has scheduled on the calendar. Customer Files are files relating to a specific customer. And Form Files are any files that have been uploaded from forms your customers have filled out. Form files also include any digital documents attached to a SOAP note. Click Upload and choose between appointment files and customer files. Adding an appointment file here is another way to upload a file to an appointment like we did on the calendar screen. But for this example, we're going to choose customer files. You'll get this pop-up. You can drag and drop or select a file to add to this customer's profile. Here you can name your file, give it a description, and add more files if needed. Once your files are added, click Upload and your files will be added to your customer's profile as well as Vergaro Drive. Let's take a step back and look at the Vergaro Drive dashboard. On the left side of your screen, you'll see the main controls for Vergaro Drive. In the upper left corner is the Upload button. Clicking this will prompt you to choose where your files will be uploaded to. Appointment files will associate files with specific appointments for individual customers. An example of this is a customer's haircut after their appointment. Customer files are customer-related files that are not connected to appointments. An example of this is fitness progress pictures for personal training clients. And business files are files for your business such as lease agreements, employee files, etc. These are also not connected to appointments or clients. Here you can see the different folders to view these different types of uploads. Clicking each folder will show you all the files that are in each one. The view of all these files can be changed to list or grid view. Files can be sorted by these options and also can be searched by using the search box. In addition to sorting and searching files, we can find files using filters at the top of the page. We can select a range of dates for appointments we're looking for and can narrow down results by specific customers. Each file type folder will even have its own filter criteria. At the bottom left corner, you can see your storage summary. You can see how much storage is being used and click Change Plan if you'd like to upgrade. Now let's take a look at uploading a file directly to Vergaro Drive. For this example, we'll upload a business file, but the support article linked below has instructions for all types of uploads. We'll go to the uploader and choose Business File you'll get this pop-up. You can drag and drop or select files like we did before. The file can be named and given a description. 
This will help with searching for files within Vergaro Drive. Now we'll click upload and the file will be added to Vergaro Drive. This video was all about Vergaro Drive. If this video was helpful, be sure to like and comment below. Also, subscribe to the channel to pick up more tips and tricks about the software. Check out the description to follow our social media channels or to start a free trial of Vergaro today.